All right, my first guest. A hugely popular rap star and an actor, as well as one of our favorites here in the show, will be hosting Spike TV's Video Game Awards, which airs live on December 14th. Please welcome Snoop Dogg! Yeah. Looking good. Yes, sir. Welcome to the show. Good to see you again. Thank you for having me back, as yeah. usual. We always enjoy having you. <laughs> now, I gotta ask you, I, like a lot of people, I saw the music. What, what happened at the Vibe Awards? I mean, um, you were there, you were on stage. Were you surprised? Were you shocked? It was like the, uh, the basketball game, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, a couple but, of fans threw a few cups and, you know. But, I mean, why Dr. Dre? I mean, he's like a well-respected guy. What, I you, don't know, man. I mean, yeah. there's so much hatred and so much jealousy, you know. Yeah. in the rap community. And like I say, I mean, we pushed past it and we moved forward. And so it really didn't stop nothing. He's, he knows what he's up against, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just so sad that it had to happen while he was receiving his Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't, I mean, it's, how do you deal with that? I mean, do you, do you sit down with these guys after? Do, you, do, do people talk it out or everybody just? I mean, they try to get an understanding with each other so it will yeah. never happen again, you know what I mean? So, I mean, confrontations happen. You never yeah. know when they happen. You just got to be prepared. Well, the guy that stabbed him, Young Buck, that was the guy's name, right? I'm, I don't re I don't watch the news, so I don't. Yeah. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, you're on the oath, Mr. Dog. Remind yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. You know, I don't watch the news. Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, for my question is, how do you get an eight-inch knife through security? Now you you will probably frisk. Everybody gets frisked, right? I mean, you, he must know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, so why don't you watch the news? You don't, don't want to be informed. Because it's bad news. You know? Bad news. It's, bad it's news. never it never comes on with you know today was a beautiful day. It's always something negative. Yeah. Right. So I I care not to watch it. Just watch the the more upbeat news. Yeah, yeah. 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 The streets. <laughs> well, all right. All right. <laughs> Well, I guess Young Buck turned himself in. Did you know that? That was on the Yeah, news. I heard that much. Oh, you heard that on the yeah, news? Yeah, I oh, heard yeah. that on the radio. Oh, on the radio. Yeah. On the radio. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, let me ask you about, about, about the game. You think our test? I, I think they probably should have gave him, like, you know, 50, day, 50 games and, and probably gave him a couple of classes or something to try to help him instead of just taking his pay away like that, you know what I'm saying, with no help. But he's done, it's like nine or ten times this has happened. But still, it's like you should give him help if he's a part of your league and your yeah. organization. If you have programs designed to help him, yeah. at least reach out and try to help him. Well, I think what they think is you suspend it for the whole season, then it goes to arbitration, and then you're probably down to 30 or 40 games. Because if, if, if you do 30 or 40 games, well, then they... You know, negotiate it down to like five or ten games, right? I don't think there's no negotiation in that one right there. What did Spreewell, when he choked the coach? That was different, though. <laughs> was because that was a personal one on one. He didn't know who, you know. Yeah. When, when Artez jumped in the crowd, he just thought that that was somebody that right. you know, threw the cup, which actually wasn't. But the coach really said something to make Spreewell choke him out. <laughs> 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 so that was acceptable in my book. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're a coach now, right? Yeah, yeah. I know you coach... You, you I coach Little League football. Yeah, Little League football, okay. Which oh, we way? don't have that problem. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Now, you call yourself the dog father, right? No, yeah, that's me. Okay, okay. So when you coach these kids, what, what do you say? What do you say to the kids? I How just, do you motivate them? I, I motivate them with reality, you know? Yeah. I, I, try to I try to teach them things that's gonna, you know, be valuable to them when they become, you know, men in life. So it's just reality that I teach them. Sometimes it deals with football, sometimes it deals with real life. Like, like, what is your style? Like, are you laid back? You get in their face? How do you do I'm it? Like, I'm like Coach Tom Landry, the old Dallas Cowboy coach. Okay. You know, real relaxed and calm, but I can explode when I have to, but for the most part, yeah. it's all about you doing your assignments and me just being the coach, being a fun, loving coach for you. I mean, give me an example. Like, say, the, say that uh, camera two there is uh, some of your guys. Get up, get the job done, quit playing. You know what time it is. Make something happen. <laughs> Now, now, you played with USC. You played with the Trojans, right? Yeah, I went up there with the number one USC Trojans. No, no. Are you a big Trojans fan? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, why the Trojans? That doesn't, I don't know why it doesn't seem USC, like USC, University yeah. of South Central. Well, that's true. Well, South Central. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, why not? Yeah, well, that make, well, makes sense. I mean, that's the hometown. You know, a, yeah, a lot of yeah. kids that grow up in uh, the California area, we dream of going to USC. So it's right. like, it's the, it's the, we don't have an NFL team. Right. So. That's all we have is yeah. USC, basically. So, you know, we ride with them to the end. Now, we have some say. Now, do you just walk in and surprise these guys? Yeah, I just, you know, stop by to pay them a visit because they're the number one team in the nation. I'm the number one rapper in the nation. Why not? Okay. <laughs> now, we got this from, uh, 
from MTVU, is that what it is? I yeah, think they're going to air this, but this is a little clip of it here. Oh, so, so the guys don't know you're coming. Mm -mm. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. In the home of national champions, you know what I'm saying, USC Trojans, I'm hosting today. Stand in, Big Snoop Dogg. Call me Coach Snoop. USC, Big Snoop Dogg, number one player, number one collegiate team in the nation. Why not? Let's do it.